when it comes to weekday Mass, I think it's important to try and have one little phrase or a key word or something that may strike us so we have something to think about for the next day or so or until we get to Sunday. Something that strikes us, something that's pertinent to our life. And when I was listening to the first reading, Paul writing to the Thessalonians, it's the last line that struck me. It's this line that says, Therefore encourage one another and build up one another, indeed as you are doing. Encourage one another. And how important is it to be encouraged? You think of the strong influence and, and power of a parent to encourage their child, whether it be a father who maybe likes golf or tennis or watching the game, and sure enough, you'll see maybe his son or his daughter be interested in the same things as his father. Or maybe a, a mother who loves to garden, cook, bake, and sure enough, again, a son or daughter may be interested and encouraged by the same interests of their mother. And I'm sure we, we can all think of maybe a teacher in our life who really struck us going through school, who, whose passion for their subject maybe encouraged us in that subject. Who knows, maybe you, you made that a career in your life. You may have been that person that encouraged someone else, maybe as a, a math teacher, as a chemistry teacher, an English teacher, history, geography, whatever it may have been. Through your passion and your encouragement, you had a strong influence over the lives of the people that you encountered in your life. Same thing goes for a coach, maybe in a sport. Sure enough, the person becomes interested in such a sport or things like that. So the power to encourage another person is very powerful. In today's first reading, Paul is encouraging the people and the Christians in Thessalonica. And he's writing to them and saying, keep up the faith. Encourage one another. Build each other up. And so Paul, again, a tremendous disciple and zealous for the faith, He's writing to these Christians in these Christian communities, encouraging them to follow the faith, to deepen the relationship with the Lord Jesus, to pray, to read scripture. And how important is it to have someone, someone who may be an inspiration to us, a teacher, a parent, a coach, another a saint, but to encourage us in our own walk with the Lord. And what does he say? Encourage one another. So that comes right down to you and I today in 2015, here at Our Lady of Fatima. We're going to be journeying together on our faith, together, as a family. So, you can tell other people if you talk to them or just let that soak in, but I, you can tell people, and I'm telling you, I promise to myself, I promise on my part, to encourage you, to build you up in your faith journey and to try and be a good example for you in the way I live my life, but also through the, the ministry that I will do here in this parish with you. But I also ask you to be part of that too, to encourage me, to build me up, so that I may be, continue to learn how to be a good priest, how to be a good servant of the Lord, and to help you and your families in whatever way that I can. So you see how it's a family experience as well in the faith, and just like Paul encourages us today and says, encourage one another, build each other up, He's reminding you and I that we've got to encourage each other to continue to practice our faith, to pray, to read scripture, to share those God moments, those moments when the Holy Spirit speaks to us or helps us encounter or get an answer to our prayers, whatever it may be, or to walk together through difficult times. That's what we're called to do by encouraging each other and building each other up. So let's pray today that we may be wonderful brothers and sisters of the Lord to each other, that we may encourage one another and build each other up.